So in this module, we will talk about the search engine optimization. Now remember all the effort which you are doing and which you are going to do or which you have done to bring up that excellent website, to bring up that excellent web application. The purpose is that people should come to your website, to your application, they should use it, your customers, your potential customers and your products should be sold, your services should be selling and of course you are successful, your business is successful. You are able to achieve your targets. But for that purpose, your web link, the, the link to your website, to your web application, it should come at the top, good positions on the search engine results. Otherwise, how people would know where you are and how to locate you. So search engine optimization is very critical. It's very important. Now, search engine optimization, as we talk of it today, is centered around Google. Uh, Google now has become a household word and when we talk of search engine people think about Google but the search engine optimization predates Google uh, maybe the search engine optimization can date back to 1991 when the first web page was placed on the internet or maybe in 1997 when search engines became available on the net there was a strategic mistake made by a company which changed the history of search. And uh, before, before Google became a household word, Yahoo results were powered by Inkatomi. And then Yahoo made a strategic mistake and they extended their search services or their search services were generated by Google. And at the bottom of every result, there was a statement that powered by Google and Google became a household name. And of course, then the, as we say, the rest is history. So what is search engine optimization? What is search engine optimization? Uh, previously, it used to be called as search engine registration. It used to be called as search engine ranking, search engine placement, uh, search engine marketing. But the objective is to bring your results in the top results of the search engine. So search engine optimization means that making your website optimum for searching, making the contents of your website optimum for searching so that people know who you are and where you are standing. Uh, search engine optimization, when it optimizes all those things, right, then you are coming at the top of the results. That is search engine optimization. And the search engine optimization, you need to understand how the search engines work. You need to understand what people are looking for and how they are looking for. So the search engine optimization is not only technological, but it is also marketing oriented. Technological and marketing oriented. And you need to consider the number of things which I'll be discussing when we go into the details of this course. But right now, I will briefly uh, mention certain glossary items. Of course, not possible to cover 200 items, even in the details, just to give you a certain idea. Uh, one, one, one of the aspects of search engine which optimization in the glossary is that when people come to your website and they leave without clicking on any other page, that is not used for ranking purposes by the Google. But of course, that gives a measure of the quality of your content, which of course contributes toward your ranking. Then there's a keyword or a glossary word which is called as the bait. Bait means that you, there are links which are over promising and they are doing it intentionally. Uh, they are making attractive offers which in reality don't exist. So what they are doing is that they are making you click on that link so ads to get revenue for advertisement. And of course, then is the crawler or the Google bot also, which basically is a program which uh, indexes new pages, indexes new sites, which could be yours also. So you have to consider all of those things. How people search classifying and understanding. Now, there was a study at the University of Hong Kong. I think it was in 2006 or 2007. And that study said that people search 
in two categories. One is that it is very focused. They enter a keyword and they would like to know exactly about it or there is generic search. Generic search, I would like to know about something. Now that is classified further into three categories. Uh, one is do, then is no, then is go. Do is for example, I would like to purchase something and I would like to make an order for something. I would like to click on something to buy something. That is the do kind of a query which I perform on a search engine. And then is the no type of query which is I would like to know about certain thing, certain aspect. For example, I would like to know about business intelligence. That is a no kind of a query. Or I would like to search specifically for a specific business. That is a go kind of a query. So if I'm interested in certain brand, then I will type it. So you see that what you place on your uh, website or your web application, you need to consider all of those things. They're very important. And then of course, this is very interesting. This is kind of a periodic table which you have been come across. The, this periodic table covers those categories and how the search engine operates. So I will talk about in detail when we go into the details of this course. And then of course, basics of why content is important for search engine optimization. What is content? Content is the useful information which is on your website, right? The purpose is that it should elicit. You would like to engage the people emotionally and that is the purpose of that content. Now that content could be in uh, real time or real, it could be asynchronous. The content could be audio, video or its combination. So that is the content. Now when you have this content, now this content is, there's certain things which are used in ranking in this content. One is the click through rate, CTR. Google ranks your pages based upon CTR that how many links are clicked on your page. Then is the backlink. Backlink is that how many clicks come from authentic, reputable websites to your web page. So that adds confidence and authenticity to your website. And then of course the tags you are using, the keywords you are using, and then is the combination of all of those things. So you see that it's a combination of different things which bring your web page on a high ranking when the results are displayed. So it is, uh, you can call it a science. So we'll go into the more, all of the details and these uh, seven points which you see on your screen, I'll be discussing them, all of them in detail when we go into the details of the course.